Alberto Gilberto presents the Ichthyosaurs of Nevada, a trip to the Berlin Ichthyosaurs State Park. Ichthyosaur translates to fish lizard. Ichthyosaurs were the largest of many types of marine reptiles which ruled the seas during the Mesozoic. The Mesozoic era was from about 252 million years ago until about 65 million years ago and is also known as the Age of Dinosaurs. Ichthyosaurs are part of the class Reptilia, and the largest examples are estimated at over 80 feet in length. Ichthyosaurs are extinct reptiles, however they are not considered dinosaurs. There were many types of marine reptiles during the Mesozoic. Here are some artist's renderings of three types for comparison. The ichthyosaurs grew to be the largest, but I find the Mosasaurs particularly terrifying. The diagram on the right shows the evolution of ichthyosaurs from the early Triassic on the top to the late Jurassic on the bottom. The ichthyosaurs died out completely about 90 million years ago, about 25 million years before the extinction of the dinosaurs. Notice how the ichthyosaurs became less lizard-like and more fish-like over the course of a hundred million years. Legs became fins, dorsal fins and caudal flukes developed, and the eyes got much larger. In fact, ichthyosaurs had the largest eyes of any vertebrate ever, which likely developed in order to see on deep dives. It is thought that the ichthyosaurs descended from a terrestrial reptile some 250 million years ago but we have yet to identify that ancestor. On the bottom left is a dorsal view of an ichthyosaur fossil. Comparing it to the diagram on the right, what is the likely time frame it is from? Here is a cladogram depicting the relationships between reptile groups. Note that the extinct marine reptiles, including ichthyosaurs, on the left, are relatively distant from the dinosaurs which are further to the right. Convergent evolution occurs when two organisms, which lack a recent common ancestor, evolve similar features in order to adapt to similar ecological niches. These traits or features are known as analogous structures. This diagram illustrates the convergent evolution of a shark, an ichthyosaur, and a porpoise. Notice the analogous structures of each, the paired fins, the caudal and dorsal fins, and the similarly streamlined bodies. So, how did giant marine reptiles end up in the middle of the Nevada desert? Well, here's a map from the early Triassic about 237 million years ago. Notice that the west coast of North America is underwater, and current-day Nevada is a shallow inlet, perfect conditions for ichthyosaurs to thrive. This slide, using an ammonite as an example, illustrates how fossils formations occur. After death, an organism is quickly buried, and sediments continue to build up over millions of years. In the case of an ichthyosaur, the bones are fossilized as time goes on. At some point, tectonics thrusts the fossiliferous strata upwards. In the case of Nevada ichthyosaurs, gold miners in the late 1800s exposed the fossils with their mining operations. It is no coincidence that the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada is an old gold mining town and a famous ichthyosaur fossil site all in one. Here is a map of location of the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada. The location, as you can see, highlighted in red, is about three hours southeast of Reno, Nevada. Here is an entrance to the park on the western slopes of the Shoshone Mountains in Nevada. The location has the most abundant concentrations of ichthyosaurs, with about 40 individual ichthyosaurs found. This building houses an in situ ichthyosaur excavation site. A model of a smallish ichthyosaur hangs from the ceiling. 
You can call ahead to arrange for a ranger-led tour of this site. For decades, the big question has been, why so many ichthyosaurs at one location? There have been many proposals to explain this. Perhaps it was a deadly algal bloom that killed a whole bunch of them at one time. Or maybe a mass stranding in shallow water. Or my favorite proposal, perhaps it's the boneyard of some kind of gigantic killer kraken. However, a recent study has concluded this may have been a breeding ground for ichthyosaurs. In much the same way, gray whales use shallow waters in Baja, Mexico as a breeding ground each year. The map on the right shows the migration route of gray whales from Alaska to the birthing locations in the warm, shallow waters of Mexico's Baja Peninsula. The map on the left shows the location of the Nevada ichthyosaur site on the coast of Mesozoic Pangaea. Perhaps ichthyosaurs migrated to this site for the same reasons that gray whales migrate to Mexico today. Beside ichthyosaur fossils, Berlin is an iconic Nevada mining town with 130-year-old buildings, a stamp mill, and a cemetery. It also has 14 very nice campsites which are available for year-round camping with seasonal water. Remember, this is the Nevada desert. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching and so long from the Berlin Ichthyosaurus State Park in Nevada.